Hi guys, welcome back to the Annoying LA Couple Podcast. Hello? He's <laughs> trying to be annoying. Hi, so let's get straight to the point. You oh, changed well, your opinion on Hilaria Baldwin. I changed my opinion about Hilaria Baldwin. You previously supported her. You gave her the benefit of the doubt. Not supported. Not supported. I give her, yeah, I gave her the benefit of the doubt. You gave, you had some understanding. But now you're on the Hilaria hate train. No. No, it's not hate. It's just like I actually was able to see, get more videos on the internet and YouTube. You did and more I, research. I did more research because before I, I was a little biased because I, I followed a woman on Instagram for like, I don't know how many years, seven years or whatever since she entered. Yeah. And I loved her. I thought her kids were adorable. And I love seeing Alec Baldwin being a father. I don't know why, you know, I uh, maybe sure. I have issues. You, you, you enjoyed Ilaria as a personality. I enjoy her so much and I felt that she was so honest and warm so i, I didn't want to believe it okay, okay so i'm a hilaria fan hilaria fan you still are i still am a fan but i but i, I but we'll, we'll talk about it but now we'll you understand why people are so angry with her i understand why people are so angry with everyone her. online is still very mad at hilaria baldwin for pretending to be spanish Personally, I can't believe that the controversy is still going on. This was late last year. It's been almost a month. I thought the insurrection and inauguration would wipe it off no, no. the it's, front page. But. I think it's because it's fascinating that every time that someone takes someone's identity, a cultural identity, it's very fascinating yeah. to see how far people go to actually make themselves be something that they're actually not. So, it is weird that someone would carry on this uh, persona. fake persona like this for so publicly for 10 years. I know, and, and for me, the reason I changed my mind is like, so I watched all the videos, I saw the comments you guys left behind there about the cucumbers and all that. I've seen the video about the cucumber. I thought, honestly, she forgot about the word, but I saw so many inconsistencies in her um, in her videos. Like she would be talking uh, and she have no, no uh, Spanish accent, completely clear of accent if she was in her Instagram lives or when she's just doing her like small short videos for stories or she has no accent. And then when Alec Baldwin is at the Ellie DeGeneres show, he's like, oh, she looks like a drug dealer from cartel or whatever with those big sunglasses and talking Spanish. Let's call her. And they call and she speaks up. She's like, how you doing there, Ellen? And you know, she's like, oh, like, it's almost like she becomes something else. And I was like, I was like, I was like, okay, that that's very, that's a huge difference from the girl that I thought that has Spanish background that speaks with a light accent, not too strong yeah. to like, kind of like uh, Sofia, what's her name? Sofia Vergara accent. Oh, not even Sofia Vergara. It was like worse. It was like much worse. So, and then I was like, okay, well maybe, maybe she just put on a persona and then and then there's other videos. There's so many video guys. You guys have to watch the videos. And there's videos of her, like, besides the cucumber, her, like, talking with interviewers in a red carpet. They're like, how it feels to be married to Alec Baldwin. And she's like, oh, we, we do okay. We do okay. Okay. <laughs> yeah, it's and, like, for years, people have just been humoring her and going along with this whole thing. Most people didn't know, of course, but... The people who did know have just been humoring this ridiculous facade that you've no, been putting CAA, up. No, even CAA, the one of the biggest like agencies for acting in the United States of America or the world, let's say, knew that they put yeah. it in her web profile that she was born in. Where is that? Mallorca in Spain. Like, how could you put that out and not think eventually someone was going to figure that out that she's not actually from Spain, that she's from Boston? When, when there are people that she grew up with when still out there, not to mention her whole white family. I know. And the thing is, like, by the way, Spanish people are white people, by the way. I just don't want to just want to make sure you guys understand that a lot of the blonde, blue eyes people in Europe, there's, of course, the Nordic okay. people. But Spain people are actually lighter. Sure. Blue, when I say white, people. I'm talking about like they're old white people uh, from, from America. Puritan, like uh, Anglo, Anglo, Anglo. Yeah. So I Anglo. I, yeah. Anglo. <laughs> no, but I felt like I actually went to a school named Anglo in high, like in um, high school. Nice. Yeah. Uh, hi, Anglo people. Oi, to the ball. Anyways, uh, it's hi, hi, in Portuguese. Uh, so guys, just real quick. Um, I think like maybe she put it up a persona because imagine you meeting Alec Baldwin in a restaurant and then he comes over and maybe she talks with her girlfriend. She's like, let's, let's pretend that we are like Spanish or whatever. And then they're like, okay, 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 let's do it. 
Let's do it. And then, no. and well, then, the thing, and then, no. fast forward, fast forward, fast forward, fast forward. You ain't marrying a guy. The thing is, she's been she's been <laughs> doing this Ilaria act for way before she met Alex Baldwin. And that's true. It was that's a true. thing with her, like she was in love with Spain, and that's fine. Even if you want to be called Ilaria, it's like Beto or or Rourke or Evelise. You know, My name, name is Evelise, and they call me Evie because I know you guys cannot say Evelise. Okay. Probably. It's like Beto O'Rourke. Okay, Beto O'Rourke, the Congress or he representative from Texas. Everyone at first is saying Beto O'Rourke. Oh, he, he must be Hispanic. That's a Hispanic nickname. Turns out the guy is completely white. His name is uh, like Robert O'Rourke. So it's a similar thing. He's so in love with that culture that he took on the Spanish nickname. Ilaria did a similar thing in my estimation. Yeah, I think I imagine that must be a, a huge pressure for her because all the Baldwins are married to like Brazilian or Spanish or whatever the heck it is. Possibly, but now it's so a huge embarrassment she, for Alec that he, he's walking around publicly touting this Spanish wife of his for so many years. It turns out he's the only one without one. Yeah, he's the only one without one. I think this, can I say something? I want to give a message there for the white women. You don't have to like lie about who you are in order for you to make yourself look more interesting. Just be authentic, be who you are. One of the biggest examples for that is Stacy Schroeder. She wrote a book called uh, The Basic Bitch Manual. And I think it's a very thing about embracing your basicness. Not saying that why you probably basic, because there's a lot of basic things about me. For now, for example, I'm wearing Uggs, which is like those little boots that all girls wear. Uh, you know, it, it's just, don't be, don't try to be something that you're not. And honestly, like if, if I could do something for me to, to make me look better. It's just like, I wish my parents gave me a better name, like an easier name so people can talk about, you know, talk to me without having issues pronouncing my name. And uh, because of, they give me Evelise, people don't know what the heck is that. And so I had to call myself Evie. So I'm hiding be behind Evie. But See, I'm really I think Evelise. what she should do is use her real name and force people to learn how to say it. That to me is a more interesting, like even Ilaria, a lot of people have trouble with the pronunciation of Ilaria. And she just said, I don't care. I am Ilaria. And you have to pronounce it as it is pronounced. Now you sound like the, the woman from the Robin Williams. Hey, it's okay if I do a Ilaria accent. She's not even Spanish. So I'm doing a Ilaria accent, not a Spanish accent. Okay. Well, guys, I changed my mind about it. I think that she is a little bit of a fraud. A big fraud, actually. I feel bad for Alec Baldwin have to go through this drama because, you know, like he's been through a lot. He called his daughter Peggy and it was like a huge thing, huge drama, blah, blah, blah. And then he married this woman, blah, blah, blah. And now she's all fake about who she is. It's like the man doesn't have a good luck in love seems like it. Yeah. I mean, they seem to have a great connection and love for each other. But still, like, I, I don't know. It must be kind of weird now. you will be like, oh, I, I, I don't know. I don't know. In, in, uh, but if all Hilaria, yeah. am I going to follow her on Instagram? No, because she's too inspirational. I love the, her posts. She hasn't posted in forever because besides the apology video. And uh, it's kind of sad, but um, hopefully we're all going to forget about it and that uh, we can just move forward with our lives and she can just be Hillary that loves, uh, you know, the Spanish culture. I think she should do that. She should drop the whole Ilaria thing, but I don't think she's going to. Just be Ilaria and just she, like, just be accepting She's so she far through the looking glass that she really wants to hold on to this Ilaria thing. She's like Trump refusing to admit that he lost the election. She really, despite all evidence to the contrary, still wants to be Ilaria and probably thinks that when this blows over, she'll just be able to go back to doing her yoga poses on top of her stove and, and all that stuff. I love her yoga Ilaria. Um, yeah, you're right. She should drop the Ilaria thing. Just say, I love Spain. I'm Hillary Haywood Thomas, and I do yoga, and I'm married to Alec Baldwin. That's great. And, but, you know, will she? I don't know. I doubt it. We'll should know. she lose her uh, endorsement deals? She and all did. That? She did already. No, I, the Latina things, magazines, all that's over. Yeah. I think she should because she's not Latina. So maybe, uh, you know, What's her name? Uh, the Baldwin's. Uh, what's her name? The um, Justin Bieber's wife, um, Haley. Oh, Haley. Maybe Haley's mom could 
Maybe take a step in I don't there. know. She should find... I mean, look, how bad... Maybe, yeah, let, her, let her promote yoga pants. Who cares? You don't have to be Latina or white or anything. Of course you do. Just kidding. <laughs> how about White Woman Magazine? Maybe they can feature her on the... That's all magazines. On the uh, cover. All magazines <laughs> are White Woman Magazine. The Latina one is for Latinas. Right. So uh, it's, a, it's a very unprivileged world. Latina just like Magazine should do a big spread now of like, Ilaria comes clean. That would be huge for them. She should only give her first exclusive interview to Latina Magazine. That poor I Latina think that, Magazine. I think they drop her anyways. But um, I just want to say, still going to be a fan from Hilaria. I mean, fan. I mean, fan. I'll, I'll still follow her on Instagram. I'm still going to get her recipes and see her yoga poses and her cute, cute kids. Am I going to really believe in everything that she says? No. She lost credibility with me. So if she endorses a tea, she endorses something, she endorses some whatever product that she's just like a Kardashian, I'm going to look that away and pretend that I haven't seen. Yeah. But she's fun to watch. Like, she's fun, entertaining. But I'm not going to, I'm not necessarily going to be I wonder what believing the, her. The she lost credibility. I wonder what the people of Spain are thinking now. Like, is her family just a laughing stock over there? Like, you're a European. Yeah. You're Italian. Imagine someone over here was pretending to be Italian. It turned out they weren't Italian at all. What do you think your family would be thinking? I have to be really honest. Please. They would not give a damn. <laughs> they don't care. There's so many problems in the world right now. Global warming. Trump left the, the government. We have coronavirus. Yeah. We all locked down in the par tiny houses or apartments or just in our house. I mean, our house is not tiny, but you know what I mean? You're all like here in quarantine. So my family would just be like, that's funny. Uh, and last time I checked, it was not a, a something fancy to be Italian. As a matter of fact, a lot of people in old Hollywood or even current, they try to change their names to sound sure. more English. Even Sofia Loren. So you think the people of Spain aren't bothered by this? And no. that they're probably looking at the people who are so up in arms about it as even more ridiculous. They think it's kind of, I think that probably Europeans think it's funny that they think people in America think that Europeans are, um, or even Brazilians think that too, that you think that we, that they're interesting. Yeah, I mean, because that's what I think. I think that everyone who's getting really worked up and upset about the it. white people. It's either they're white people, or even if they're not white people. But they're American. It's just like, I can understand thinking it's funny and weird and fascinating and wanting to read about it and talk about it. But if you're really getting mad that some wealthy white woman in Manhattan pretended to be Latina, it's like it's not like she was a, an actress taking away roles or something. So she got the cover of Latina magazine a couple of times. Who gives up? You know, they've got how many other issues to put out in a year? Yeah, I mean, it would be nice to put a Latina there actually because there's no so sure. Many Latina and, and, but guess magazines. what? They do. I bet they put a Latina on the cover every month. So they made a mistake with Alaria. That's fine. Get it's over. okay. Let's all get over with our lives. Hopefully, we don't have to do a follow-up video. If something happens, we will. But for now, thank you very much for watching this video. Stay connected. Like. Subscribe. subscribe and. Comment. Thank you so much, guys. Mwah.